Well, hello. We are now in 1 John 3, 5. Go ahead and translate it. That was great. And now it's my turn to speak. Uh, and you know that that one was manifested or appeared in order that he might take away the sins. And sin in him is not. Well, this would seem to be a Johannine affirmation of the sinlessness of Jesus. Um, if we want to collect these references to the sinlessness of Jesus, of course, the most famous one is in Hebrews chapter 4. Is it verse 13, which says basically um, uh, that, that uh, he was without sin. And then there's also uh, 2 Corinthians 5. Um, is it 21? Man, I'm, I'm having trouble here today. 521, somewhere in there. Uh, he made him who knew no sin to be sin, that we might become the righteousness of God. And here we have a Johannine version of it. Sin is not in him. I assume that it's talking about Jesus. Okay. Uh, he, he was manifested in order to take away sins. Remember that from chapter 1, we hypothesized that the Gnostics did not believe they had sin that needed to be cleansed. So there you have it. Now let's do that in slow motion all over again. Um, and you know that that one was manifested. And you know, this is Oida again. Uh, this is that, typically after verbs of knowing or saying, we have a noun clause. You know that. That one, demonstrative pronoun. Uh, that one, different kind of that. English uses that to do a number of things. Hebrews uses that to be a noun clause. Hebrews uses that to introduce a to be a demonstrative pronoun. And uh, uh, English, I'm sorry, what did I say? English uses that as a relative pronoun as well. Lots of that's in English. Uh, but, um, and you know that one was manifested. I think I parsed that on the next page, so we'll hold off on that. But remember, that this is, this is literally or somewhat woodenly was manifested, but it has the sense of appeared, that one appeared. In order that, in order that, purpose clause, right? He might take away, we'll parse this on the next page, the sins. And sin in him is not. Okay, pretty easy translation. Grammar stuff. Uh, oida is perfect in form, but present in meaning. Do you remember that? Whatever that means. Um, and it's um, second person plural here, right? Indicative. So perfect, active, indicative in form. Second plural from oida. Aunt oida, you know Aunt oida. Hoti is a, what kind of a clause? A noun clause. Okay. Demonstrative pronoun. And here's the parsing. Can you do it? Theta, eta is aorist passive. And there's the augment. So this is Eris passive indicative, third singular, from Fanaro'o. Okay, next line. In order that, what kind of a clause is introduced by Hina? That's right, a purpose clause. Uh, in order that sins, he might take away sins. This is accused of plural, feminine. The alpha is the clue that it's feminine. Um, I suppose the alpha sigma is the indication that it's accused of plural. Okay, what is ire? I'm sorry, are. Well, this is irregular. I'm sorry. I just have it memorized. But you could have made some hay while the sun shines. So the ADA with a subscript uh, could be O, A, say, could be a third person singular active subjunctive. This is a hina. Hina, subjunctive is coming. Subjunctive is coming. So it, it makes sense that this would be a subjunctive. I think it is a active subjunctive, third person singular. Now, the question then is what word is it? And this is the irregular of IRO. Um, so it's aorist, it's irregular aorist. I've just memorized, in the aorist, it loses the iota. It's irregular, you just have to memorize it. It's aorist, it's active, it's subjunctive. Uh, did I say subjunctive? I don't know, it's late, but it is, it's subjunctive. Um, from Iro. Sing with Ira. Okay, when Harry met Sally, never mind. Okay, I think that's it. Noun, uh, this is the subject, nominative. N auto, prepositional phrase. O with this Yoda subscript hanging on is a dative masculine singular. Okay, enough of that. So, can you pronounce it? Kai, Oidete, Hoti, Akenos, Efanarothe, Hina, Tas, Hamartias, Are, Kai, Hamartia, N, Auto, 
Uk Esten. Okay, now let's say it at try to say it at more normal speed. Kai oidete hotia kenos efanarothe hinat tas hamartias are. Kai hamartia en auto uk esten. Okay, nailed it, kind of. Okay, we will see you, Lord willing, manana en la manana for 1 John 3, 6, to end the week.